Okay. The Buckle Your Babies campaign was very successful. Uh, we saw almost 5,000 vehicles move through our checkpoints. Uh, of those 5,000 vehicles, we were able to inspect uh, over 650 car seats. Uh, the vast majority of parents and drivers were in compliance and they appreciated the uh, education and input from, uh, from members of the Abbotsford Police Department, Abbotsford Fire Rescue and our other uh, community partners that are, are concerned about child safety. Uh, we fortunately only had to offer about 75 tickets uh, and those were just in instances where uh, there was either no child seats or there weren't sufficient child seats for the number of kids that were in the car. Again this has been a successful initiative for us. It's, uh, it's the second round and based on these results uh, people can look forward to us doing this again in the fall. Well, I think it's to, to give some priority to the, to the most precious cargo that we have when we're traveling on our roadways. It's, it's the little ones. Uh, one of the real highlights of this round of education was the fact that people weren't checking their car seats for things to ensure that the plastics were still in good shape, that all of the buckles and harnesses and tethers were still working. And, and one of the real learning points for everyone involved was the expiry dates that appear on some of the, of the uh, car seats. The manufacturers put the expiry dates there on a volume voluntary basis, but Transport Canada and others are encouraging people to adhere to those expiry dates because again, many of these materials are, are degradable with time. So it was a real positive from the standpoint of our officers being involved, uh, very passionate about this type of work, and we received a, a tremendous amount of, of uh, encouragement from the community.